Hey everybody, welcome to race day, first race of the year for RC Unlimiteds, the largest scale hydroplane racing club in the world. As you can clearly see, I have no idea how many boats are here today, but let's go look at them. We're in beautiful Finley, Washington. Uh, the weather was predicted to get really windy as it always does here later in the day. However, they have graciously lowered the wind predictions and man, we're excited. Okay, I think we have a number of new boats to show you this year. Okay, I don't, can you see it? Um, oh, there, there, I think I've got the light right. Kind of a honeycomb look of the deck. I wonder if this is, this must be uh, Soric. It's a filler type material with fiber with a fiberglass laid over it. And you can kind of see it through. Can you see more of that? that that's not a bad paint job. That, that's the pattern. It's like a honeycomb pattern of the Soric. Um, so, uh, which is really light, but super strong. And it'll kind of give you that look. I mean, you could probably do a ton of filler and take care of that, but Let's just look at a few things here. All right, that looks quite nice. Again, 9 a.m. for 10 scale, 9 a.m. Oh, yeah, a little, a little here and there. Okay, look at this, man. Golly, isn't that just the way to go anymore? I wonder who pioneered the idea of just slapping a waterproof servo out here. I can't imagine who that guy was, but he was a genius. Not real, not super liking that right there, but... Uh, Obviously works fine. Oh, there. Uh, uh, I mean, you guys were yelling at me, but there it is. Uh, that's that's Soric. Uh, it's foam, um, but the the epoxy will soak through the the, uh, the the outboard pattern of the each honeycomb section there. So so that's why you can laminate uh, either side, and it'll hold beautifully. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice setup. There you go. Got a little water guard here. I like that. Doesn't block the air. Wonderful, gorgeous old pan pack. Nice detail. Well done, good sir. Uh, he's doing about 185 right now. He's just about to enter the turn, I'm guessing. Okay, let's look over here. <laughs> I looked at that and I thought it said Birdie. <laughs> no, that's Bernie with, with uh, Little Star. Beautiful Miss Budweiser. I'll get some video later. Uh, stay, stay in this video because I'll have some racing video cut here and there within. Okay, that's really nice though. That looks good at the start of the season. <laughs> hey, check it out. This is the brand new Risley's Express. Derek Pierce. Just entered the water. Where is it? There it is. Beautiful boat. I guess he didn't want to launch over there. <laughs> okay. It looks like he's just feeling it out. This could very well be his first time ever on the water. Uh, we'll talk to Derek later and we'll take a good look at it. Let's watch something that sounds way faster. Look at that. Watch this. Bam. Goodbye. Oh, that thing is honking. I, I don't know whose boat that is. It might be one of our uh, long distance travelers. We got some gentlemen up here from Utah here for the opening. RC Unlimited's first race of the year. Uh, now he's just playing with us. It was doing what, 65? Look at that thing corner. It's a round nose. This boat is currently doing the impossible. Good. Nice. Well, let's see how he fares next to the champ. That's Henry Org's boat, I believe. Uh, national champion from a couple years ago. Maybe they're all that fast today. 
I think that round note's gaining on him. Where's he at? There he is. Let's see how it looks on the back. Yeah, there goes the champ. Okay, coming out. How far behind is the round note? He's right there, baby. He's got her pinned, man. Pinned. Okay, what we'll do is uh, a little bit later during the pit tour, I'll get you a close up view of that, but we got to see how he's pulling that off with the round notes. Yeah. Great. Uh, the Miss Rock. Okay, here we have a CMB, nitro power. Nice motor mount. I like the lightning holes. Well done, well done. How you doing? How's the boat running? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that that's what they all say when first the boat's race. in top form. First time out. <laughs> oh, really? This your first time with this boat? You mean? Oh, wow! Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean it always takes a while before you and the new boat, you know, feel like that. Yeah. Oh, good on you. Good luck. Oh, this is beautiful. I remember this so well as a kid. Really, really beautiful hydroplane to see on the water. This is, of course, as a kid, I saw that and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe it was an aerodynamic idea. I, I, well, I wonder if it actually reduced the buffeting of your head, too. You know what I mean? Because it allows the air to slope carefully away instead of creating a... Uh, vacuum behind your head, or vortex or whatever. Oh, nice detail, man. That's 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 cool. That's also the cowl latches, presumably. Oh, yeah. Rim racers, you can't get those anymore. Oh, you can't get them anymore. Oh well, never mind. Disregard everybody. Disregard. <laughs> uh, maybe. I uh, wonder if I could print those. Anyway, something to think about. Okay, another set back here. Wow, beautifully done. What else do we have? Oh, don't. Okay, now, for you younger guys, or guys that are just crazy about the new boats, check this out. Andrew Tate. Had to bring the Canadian down here to show him how it's done. Uh, at an HRL, a, a big Canadian uh, racing series uh, banquet one year, they, they made so much fun of poor Andrew. I mean, he's this real studly looking guy. Uh, he kind of wears a porn star mustache now. And, uh, <laughs> but I mean, he's a super great guy. But. Okay, now that, uh, that is one crazy thin upright. Now let's pretend we didn't see that. Okay, it's perfectly legal. Uh, it has the right shape, but boy, is it thin. You almost think that if you go that thin, that it would, that it would want to flutter in the wind. There's a whole aerodynamic lesson we can talk about. Maybe we will at some point. It's got some uh, killer support. Let's check. Yes, it's very tight. I like it. See, this is a great way to go right here. I'm going to guess he's got an aluminum piece of aluminum angle or something under there. Oh, really nicely done. Look, look at that adjustment. That, someone took more time than I would. Uh, I, I've, I've used a... Uh, Aluminum, just a piece of plain old angle aluminum, you know, and then put a slot in it, make it adjustable. This is on there, solid. Not solid, adjustable, but you know what I mean. Steel screws with your breakaways up here. You, you pound a buoy or whatever, this just pop right off. No harm, no done. No harm, no foul, that is. Uh, no damage done. And uh, put a couple new screws in it, and away you go. Wow, God, there you go. I mean, the detail. I wish it wasn't all fogged up. Obviously, it ran good. It'd be fun to see uh, uh, how Andrew's doing in there. But... Wow. If the skid lid was off, we'd give you a tour inside the boat, too. It'd be really interesting to see. Yeah, full meal deal. Wow, gorgeous. I, I don't remember seeing that one on the water boat, so we'll keep our eyes open on that. Oh, boy. We'll do that. No, no, she's been gone for a long time. But wow, talk about uh, a long time and awesome race yeah, sponsors. I I think she was at, like, you know, the oh, I had to bring another. Had to bring a French guy in to uh, drive this one. <laughs> Did you ever, you ever watch Jean yeah. Thierry drive? Woo! Uh, 
Save the equipment I believe, uh, are, are, are words never uttered by John yeah. Zira. Which I actually like and respect a great deal because I, you know, I mean, why'd you build a race boat if you're not going to race? And yeah, uh, by golly, he'll give you everything there is to be had. Yeah, I, I definitely. Think that's a beautiful machine. In fact, I pitched that like right when. I'm going to say it, that it uh, was likely taken from the same mold, and that one was probably modified. I would guess this is probably the original mold. No, not the herd. Pardon me. Uh, but that's awesome. We can't linger so long. Like it's going to take us forever. Let's take a look at the Technicolor. Who doesn't love painting that? Okay, now, did you paint it or did? Is this a graphic? No, it's, paint. it's paint. Airbrushed. It's airbrushed. I don't know if I've told you before how much I hate you guys. Okay, so that's all painted. And it's gorgeous. You know, the nice thing is, it isn't like the old X side where you got to do all these lightning bolts and stuff. So I, I suppose it's not a complete nightmare. But what I do know is, you tape for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then you shoot for five minutes and you move on. Oh, uh, you missed the pin. You missed or, or whatever's up there. Oh, okay. Look. Okay, so now you said it's not your boat. Who drives it? Okay, so so are you afraid to drive it no, with it being so pretty? Not. No? Okay. No. All right. No, this is my run it out there and beat it up and race it. Yeah. Oh, come on. It is. All right. Wait, I didn't even notice. Was it nitro or electric? Electric. Oh, okay, good. Because I'd feel terrible hitting this boat. Oh, look. Oh, look at all the severe damage. Oh. oh, no way. All right, take your glasses off. What? Look at this. You guys ready? <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Wow, good luck. I, I really seriously hope it looks like that tomorrow. Except the driver. He could use yeah. a chase. Cute little tent scale. Look at this. Home street. Hang on. Going around the pillar. All right. I know, I hear that nitro out there screaming. I want to look at it, because it sounds great. Let's, let's catch it on its next time by. Here we go. I didn't even see who it was. I'm seeing a little tiny image of it here. Oh, coming in. Oh, I see. <laughs> I know who that is. That's a Stephen Kinney boat. Stephen's boats are awesome. Look at that. Oh, this. Oh, we showed you this one. Uh, I don't know. I shot some video of this yesterday. I'll put it in here somewhere. Maybe right now. All right. As promised, here we are in the. You can have any color you want as long as it's yellow pit. Yeah, we did. The brand new. Derek, how you doing? What? How you doing? Good. How you going? <laughs> Good. Good. New boat this oh, and year. you too, Jim. Hi. <laughs> How's things? Yes, I know it's new. I've already had people request pictures and video of this boat. Because really? Because it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. thank you. So uh, we're just going to... Don't get the sorry. wrinkle paint, though. We're going to... Right? What? what? Oh, oh the I paint had a reaction. Yeah, I didn't wait long enough for the cure time. And well, no, you you had something was underneath it. You and, think so? And, oh yes, yeah, okay. you had something on the surface. Oh, okay. that, that's that's exactly what does that. Th okay. There was something I think it's there. Under the paint. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it attacked the paint. As soon as you sprayed the paint, it woke up whatever was was on there. Oh yeah. Yep. Within and that, and that's minutes. okay. It was just all right. The lesson for everybody here. All right, you see all the goobers on there. Yep. Not good. Not good. I know you want to go out, so okay. we're, we're just going to really quickly here let everybody kind of get a good look. I mean, what do you think so far? It's handled really well. I'm Excellent. still in the getting it set up to get it to run right, but uh, okay, sure, takes time. I'm really, uh, really excited for this year with it. Wow, this is super clean looking, man. Oh yeah, no, we'll get there. I know the cabinet maker's got super <laughs> awesome boat stands. By oh, the way, right. your I don't know. It's just a super great looking setup, Derek. Um, I'm so happy that you're in. Uh, Derek uh, has raced with us for two years. Uh, this is my third year. Th yeah. yeah, this is his third year R racing around nose. Started off in a round nose. Uh, when he came out, he was really excited. I'm like, dude, this is the hard way to go, pal. <laughs> <laughs> learned a lot. Uh, you sure. learned a lot. Uh, you know, one yeah. thing about 
driving something that's kind of a bucking bronco is, is you learn how to drive. You bet. It, do you think it, can we look? Do you think yeah. it'd be okay if we lift the back end up? All right, let's take a look and see his setup here. Um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the go fast prop right there. I know exactly what that is. I'm not going to tell you guys. <laughs> that's a, I wouldn't give away Derek's secrets. Uh, wow, super long. You like? Do you like this setup I'm here? I'm not liking it at all. <laughs> um, Bill Bill has ones with the right side holes, pickups on the right. They just pound water through. It makes sense because that's where all the water loads. I have one on my round nose, and I've never had a problem with it. And then I this. I, I, uh, no, the the ones are on the side. Oh, really? Um, I've always left? had a problem with these rudders. They've yeah. always grabbed little pieces and stuck yep. in there. Yep, and... they they grab everything, and the holes actually, if you look at them, are really really small. Okay. Um, so I mean, just saying, I recognize the hole in that, so I know what we're doing there. <laughs> I know what I'm going to see. I, I didn't pay attention before. Oh, I like that. That's actually a super nice part. This look, this thing looks awesome. Thanks. This thing looks awesome. Wow, well done. You gonna run it right now? You ready to go? Out? I'm actually getting the. Uh, I gotta put a couple little more holes in the cowling there. Okay. To get a little more airflow in there. Yep. And then once yep. I do that, um, I'm gonna take it out one more time and see Excellent. if I can get it to. Excellent. Not fall on its face. Oh, R.I.P. Buddy. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty was a cool guy. Yeah, this was one of his first boats he drove. Wow. Yeah. It's nice and light. Yep. Look at you. Where'd you get the cowling? It's all RC Boat Company. Oh, this is from RC Boat Company. Yeah. You did a nice job. That's all carbon that fiber. Was, that Bill put on there, that was some guy was saying. You know, most of the weight is in this duct tape. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I, I think you could run about one quarter of that amount of foam and be just fine and, and cut another four or five ounces out of it. Out there. I no, like I understand. I understand. <laughs> yeah. You put it all right. In awesome. Okay, we're back. The Grizzlies Express, a brand new gas boat. So yesterday, and maybe I included it, maybe, I, again, maybe I'm including that now, maybe not, but yesterday we talked about how this damage occurred here, and I thought that it was on account of uh, some material, something being underneath the paint, but as I thought about it more, I remember having this happen. Can you see that a little bit of damage? It, it, it's a reaction between one layer to the next layer, like incompatible styles of paint, or maybe even shooting the next layer way too soon. Uh, yeah, so that's super unfortunate, but I mean beautiful boat ran well. I look forward to seeing that today Old faithful right here <laughs> Yeah, oh. you're going this morning oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah You got some battle scars. Well <laughs> You know what I, I got the straw off the shelf about a week ago and I looked at it and I thought oh my goodness and I, I grabbed the touch-up paint and I went to town <laughs> Yeah, this is a, uh, going on year three for this paint job. Yep, yep, I, yep. I think this winter I'm going to tear it down and redo it all. Well, the boat had a difficult start because it wound up upside down a lot as you were working it in, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So you take a beautiful new boat and you slap it on the water at 60 miles an hour about a dozen times. <laughs> and it, rough, the it roughens right them up a little bit. <laughs> but I, I respect that. I was impressed with all your effort and how you came along and improved, so... I'm looking for great things. Okay, this is uh, running in 10th scale electric here. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's a super cool retrieve boat. They, they'll buzz this out. You know, if a boat goes upside down close to shore, they'll toss that thing in real quick and bring it back. Holy beer. I'm not going to promote drinking, but I am going to promote this boat. This is a great boat. Looks great. This is what they had to do. I don't know if you knew this fact, but the uh, original driver of the boat, he was scared so he wouldn't drive it, and they they zip tied his hands to the steering wheel. <laughs> okay, let that be a lesson to you. Don't believe things you hear on this channel. And we have, oh, there we go. Very kind of you. Thank you, Steve. CMB. And let me tell you something. This boat has been around, and Steve has done nothing but improvements on it. It goes faster and faster. And you got to be on your game when this boat's on the water. Don't let Steve fool you. He pretends to be a nice guy, but when he starts driving, look out, buddy. Team Velocity. He's as terrified as that last driver. They didn't have to zip tie his hands on. They're just molded right to the steering wheel. That's kind of the way I feel when I drive my boat. It's a nice looking craft. Can you see the scene here? 
this is one of those, uh, uh, I think Jeff Snell kind of pioneered that, where, where the entire upper deck comes off with the cowling. Uh, it's just beautiful inside. I have a high affinity for this here. Uh, my, my first RC hydroplane was the uh, was the, the uh, two wing this X side. So I'm very partial to the design, even though it doesn't work especially well. Actually, in art in RC, I should say, uh, my X side was, was quite the machine. Uh, I won a couple races, I think, with it way back in the day. Wow, there's not much holding that on. It looks like a steel screw. That scares me a little bit. I was on fire yesterday in there. Oh, you did? Oh, we have to see. I've been told that she caught... Oh, you didn't have a small fire. You had a, a very realistic fire. Okay. Run electric, they said. It'll be cheap, they said. And it's so easy. <laughs> well, I bought the good one for this one. Oh, okay. Now hold on. Is it okay if I show everybody? Yeah. I wanna... And so I, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I the can assume. The logging on that is super cool. I can see RPM, RPM voltage, amperage, uh, everything from every single run on my lap. And, and do you find yourself using it a lot? I mean, like on test days, you sit down and yeah, study it. I can swap out props and see what prop I can run right. one lap and then know if it's going to be over amp for the system. Right, right, right. I can run five laps. So we don't do this? Yeah. Right, right. Okay, I got to say that's pretty next level stuff. I love it. Yeah. You know, it's just like grabbing your um, cars. Let's zip in on it here. So Hydra, if a guy just looked up some sort of Hydra uh, data Castle, logger. Castle Hydra. Yeah, Castle it, Hydra, it okay. With, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, well, oh Cap. Castle B-Link, all right. Yeah, you can do it on your phone with uh, the Bluetooth B-Link, or you can do it how, on the laptop. How sexy. Okay, an awful long rod. Are you worried about, oh, that's actually quite stiff still. Did you run the, the, the alter it all the way through? No. Feels like it, no? Oh, wow, okay. When I ran them long like this, I'd always put a support here in the middle, but this this feels really good, so I don't think yeah, there's any problem. Too. I don't yeah, but I mean, that feels remarkably stiff. This is my winner. Is it? It's super fast. Is it really? Yeah. Have you won with it? No. Okay, all right, good. Very, all right, we clarified. <laughs> <laughs> I look this forward to seeing my it. I look forward to seeing it run. All right, good luck. Charlie's girl. This one is a winner, right? Yes. Yes. Mike Henriksen show, showed up. Uh, just the new guy, you know, we're like, oh, God, this, this guy's going to fumble around. Okay, no. <laughs> Mike, Mike's done a lot of RC racing. He showed up and immediately ran in the front. And, Scott, this and, was uh, the first time I raced. Oh, I thought you were an RC racer. No. Uh, I knew there was something about you I didn't like. but <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing, you know what I mean? So you, you cut your teeth on a hydroplane. Yeah. I mean, it was the first kind of RC racing I ever did. I threw a hydroplane out there never held a controller before in my life. And, see you're doing cars now too. Well, yeah, I, I ran cars the other night. Watch for that on my channel, by the way, you guys. We may even do just a separate channel so you can see how that goes. I'll just tell you briefly, there were 50 cars that showed up. I'd never run an RC car before in my life, and I qualified P5. <laughs> oh, but that was running by myself, and then I had to run with other cars, and that, uh, that, that didn't work out nearly as well. <laughs> see, this, this is nothing short of beautiful. I don't know if this is brand new. Mike, do you know anything about yeah. this Atlas? Yeah. That's an RC boat company. Yeah. Well, whose boat is it? It's Jim White's. Oh, this is Jimmy's Atlas? Yeah. Why does it look so good? Because he repaints them every time they get scratched. Is that right? Yeah, go ahead. Golly, I'm not coming to this pit anymore. <laughs> so speaking of winning boats. Jimmy, Jimmy's a quick guy, and other I. Than, other than hey, fun it, fact. If you if you knew Jimmy, you you would uh, you would you would ask the same question as me. Why does it look so good? Because me, Jim will run me. hard. He just told me that he's not going. This is not his points boat anymore. He's not going to race this boat. He's going to race it. But oh, not race it. so it's so pretty. He's going to stay out of trouble. Race, race. Oh, and I zipped right past the marking pack. Okay, so this is going to be his uh, his balls to the wall boat. 
So, yeah, like I say, when Jimmy's on the water, uh, you shouldn't be. <laughs> That's nothing against him. What I, you know what I mean is he's not a wild driver, but he's extremely fast. And he is unafraid to race you, which is how you win boat races. We have a dead boat way out wide. Hang on, I'm going to look in there. 40. Okay, I see the markings on the prop, so I'm not going to show you the prop, just because that would be kind of uncool to Jim. Um, but I now know what prop he's running. Very, very fast. Moving on. Well, all right. He's not here. You want to see more? I do, no, not the prop. But let's just see if it's anything fancy. Look at that. It's not even fancy. Okay. He's just got just a classic recovery. I don't know if you can see it. I was looking at it outside the camera because I wanted to see it. He didn't even, uh, I mean, I can see he didn't even really sharpen it, uh, the trailing edge, like, like I would. And But yet, but yet, insanely fast. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to do some thinking about that. All right, moving on. Wow, we haven't gotten anywhere. I, I might have to do two videos or shoot some more later. Look at that, man. Okay, as soon as this boat wall. comes in, the course is closed. Okay. Course is closed to pick up the dead boat. And then we will be going with 10th scale. Can you hear tenth that? 10th scale testing. Oh, okay, 10th scale testing. I thought they were going to say driver's meeting, but not yet. This is really gorgeous to wall. Is this yours, Mike? Yes, it is. Oh! What? Mike Hughes. How's it going, Mike? Mike. Okay, Mike, Mike is printing um, a, a lot of various uh, parts, as do I. Hey, so buy your stuff from me, but every now and then throw Mike a bone. <laughs> <laughs> now, he's making a multi-part driver that's adjustable um, that I'm not doing. Uh, because, I mean, more power to him. They're, they're really, really hard to print. They take a ton of time to print. Um, and uh, I just don't find the, the effort worth it. But he's in it, and he's perfecting it. As we speak, can we? Can we take? A, well, I'm just not going to yank at it because I don't know how it's how it's set up. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. Oh, interesting. Are you an old school racer? I am not. I'm oh, really? Th racer. This is this is super old school. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. And then. Uh, and it felt like there was a lot of play. Oh, there is some here. I'm not a fan, Mike. But you got a lot of play there, dude. Yeah, yeah. I just, I would just suggest you put a ball end on this thing and, okay. and run a screw through it, and and you'll take out that play. All right. So, did you say you are a new boat racer? New boat. Racer. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, and so the little things like that, you know, totally forgiven, right? But, um, but I love the setup. Look at this, man. That that's kind that's kind of trick. <laughs> I ran my cord. On in fact, each side. that's really trick. Yeah. Right, right, right. And then the battery's tucked in right there. Okay, am I seeing Velcro here? Yes. So, so you can move the batteries yes, around? Yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's. I stand one. That's genius. On in, and then the other one flat right here. Are you doing well with the uh, with the receiver exposed? Once I started put, putting them back in boxes. Once you, the boxes work too, but I think if you put the coating on it, the uh, Corrosion X. Yeah. I don't have any. You've been okay. Okay. All right. I have, I mean, I, I'm a one and done guy, and I, I had a failure right. with, with an exposed, because I did that for a long time and thought, oh, this is the way to go, and and I had one glitch out on me, and uh, I can't be having that, and I, <laughs> and I stuck it in a box. But, thanks, Mike, that's awesome. Is this your 10 scale? That's my 10 scale as well. That's a great looking boat. So where did you come from? Where do you live? I live in uh, Riverside, California. Riverside. Oh, so this. Oh, you're, you're close to the long distance award. Yeah. We, we have some people from uh, Utah up here. You got a small ding here. It's not, oh yeah. It's not much. That was the last race. It's, it's very little. Okay. Yeah. No. I mean, they're, they're supposed to be ding. Yeah. There, there should be large chunks missing. Actually, that's the rule. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Back. Okay. In the day. Yeah. I've used that exact. Yeah. Uh, let's. I'm I haven't see been there in years. Can, oh, okay. Yeah. But I, I, have, right I have no idea if you guys can see this. I'm just going to show you what the part number is there. It, it's a lesser. You know, some guys use. The, the super expensive like the save ox and stuff on the big boats but man these 10 scales they don't take nothing for power this is a great a great servo here i've used that one a lot it didn't have a canard okay no well uh, it another nice setup if Mike. you want to call this it yeah right. oh look at this you guys know what this means can you see it that's a that's a printed that's a printed upright I'd, I'd, you don't have one off the boat, do you? No. I'd love to see what they weigh. They're, they're probably next they're heavy, nothing. aren't they? Are they light? Super light, and I didn't bring any, but I did bring a canard. I really? Think. Yes. So, so he's got a canard. We're going to check it out. Where's the We're going to see. Figures. 
right here. I have a hard time imagining that. I mean, I do a ton of printing. I'm, but, I mean, you regular viewers, you know me. I'm crazy anal about the weight, especially weight on the rear. I want that off the boat. So there you go. This will be really interesting. This here. is the front canard. Okay, front canard. Oh, well done. And that, if you drop you that. You don't know how many it, times I've drawn this up and then I've just never printed it because I look at it and I think that's oh, going to be too heavy. Look how light it is. No, that's very nice. And then it's better than the wood one. And it drops, if you put it in there, it drops right between the sponsors. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, right, right. Well, of course, you can make yeah. it perfect. perfect. You could. You could design mounts onto it, whatever you wanted this to do. This is the wood one with battle scars. Right. And then there's your... And that goes in and away we go. Yep. And a flat bottom. So okay. You can yeah. Double tape it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Coming soon on my channel, printed canards. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Hang on just a second. You're going to want to see this. I'm going to show it to you, then we're going to talk about it. Is it okay that I... Yeah. Is it okay that I get... Okay. Sure. All right, now that, now that the noise has stopped, I want to tell you guys something. This thing is crazy fast. I know, you're looking at it, you're going, it's around those. Okay, fine, it's fast, but you can't turn. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Look at that grin. Dude, this thing turns. Okay, I like that a lot. See the relief there? Here, you know, I mean, a lot of these, in fact, when you buy them, typically if you buy a molded one, it'll come with a full full bottom. You put a relief in it. I do think that's needed. Obviously, he took uh, all the angle out of what would come if you bought one of these out of a, out of a mold. So that, I don't know, I don't want to judge that. I don't think it's, maybe it's two degrees. But that's the way to go. You don't need the front of this thing bouncing up in the air, and that's what happens on these round noses. And then you can't turn. Okay, we're down again. So he's done all the right moves. Oh, I dig the prop too. <laughs> you, you, you've taken some time. Okay, I see what you did. Uh, we have uh, yeah, more ten scales. I don't know if you can tell. Took some blade area out of it, thinned it. It's a gorgeous prop. I'm taking notes here. You guys think I shoot these videos for you? No, they're for me. Uh, and I go home and I study them myself so I can see what everybody did on their boat. I love the relief on that. Yeah, that's gorgeous. No air dam or nothing. I know what you guys do. You're always sticking big air dams on here and stuff. Why? Because your your boat rides too high. Your uh, attack angles are too aggressive. You pop the nose up in the air and you catch air and over you go. Nope, not this one. This one goes 68 miles an hour flat hits the corner without ever lifting the throttle. Hey, did you see your, uh, oh, okay. You got some zap or something? It actually feels like you must have. Uh, I put some in there. Okay, so, okay, I, I don't know, can you guys see that? Yeah, I need to. Yeah. Okay, can't wait to watch you run it. Good, I can't wait to run it. Keep it clean. Good. Uh, here we go again. I, I know I'm looking at all these boats telling you how fast they are, but these guys, they got the long distance award. You think Mike came a long way? These guys came from uh, South Utah, isn't it? It's like South, South Utah, South, from him, San Diego, from him. yeah, Southwest corner, I think. Yeah. Yep. And their boats are gorgeous, and their boats are fast. You know, usually guys come from out of the area, and they get shocked when they come here and try to race with us, and and um, and you know we have fun. We take them under our wing, and you know pat them on the head. Nah, these guys, <laughs> they're racing. Uh, no handouts. Oh, see, oh, this is what I was talking about. See the size of that? Where on the one over here, he'd, he'd cut a relief into it, so. That's interesting. Interesting. Different strokes, right? I'm gonna say this must have that same shape that we saw on that Atlas. Yeah, okay, so this is probably an RC boat company hull here. Yeah, it works, and it's fast. In some ways, it's not even really so much the hole. I mean, that you know, you, I go through and I do all kinds of fancy stuff, and it's, some of it's probably unnecessary. It's really, it's really the setup around it. She didn't get much attention over the winter. Well, I was telling somebody earlier on. I took the stro off the shelf about a week ago and looked at it and thought, "Oh dear." Right. <laughs> I'd, I'd forgotten. Um, oh, wait a second. Uh, all right. Here we go again. Okay, you guys ready? You see that? 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Seems to be a theme on this end of the pits. <laughs> Have a good day. Scott. Good luck today, Bobby. Oh, now we're getting there. Here we are in the Brant pits. We've been here before. You guys need to take notes, stop the video, take measurements. Ain't nothing like a David Brant boat. Now, I don't know the story on this one. I'm judging by what I see here. See the dot, can you see the dotted lines? So this would be an ML Boatworks kit. I should know, but I, I don't even remember if David assembled this one himself or if they bought the boat. I think they might have bought it from somebody. Uh, but it works, it's fast, it's fabulous. You know, Dave throw his setup on it and, and just get out of the way. Oh, there's a prop sitting right here. But it has all of the specs written on it. I'm gonna show you the edge. Oh, oh I wanna see, what's it say? Ah, oh, I can't be that guy. Sorry, I can't be that guy. Okay, now, here we are looking at David's boat. This boat has been around a long time, has won a stupid number of races. I don't even know how many, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me anyway, so I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, interesting, I didn't know he was running the whole bullet. All right, can you see that? I used to do that, and I thought, well, maybe that's something, and then I quit doing it. Now, here it is on one of David's boats. Gotta think about that, I got a lot to think about. Here's their beautiful Notre Dame. This boat, too has won a ton of races. It's gonna win a race today. At least that's the goal. Is it not? Yes, yes. <laughs> Somebody's gotta win. Might as well be you. <laughs> Good luck. Cap Train Resorts. Another one of our long time boats. Another great boat. I know, some of them look a little bit beat up. You know what, we got lives, we gotta do what we gotta do. Wait till you see my stro, okay? So I'm not, I'm not judging. Well, I know, I'm not judging anybody. Mine's the same way. But, uh, yeah, this is the Colleen Pits. They've been building a full-size hydroplane. So, you know, this one got scooted to the side. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Here's the, the Huygens. The Huygens Hydroplane. Another, this is a nice looking tent scale. It's all wet. I wish I'd have caught it on the water. This is so cool. Carbon fiber. Wow, look, look at the angle on that. I call it the tuck, because I, I don't know what to call it. But the tuck on that fin is insane. A little bit of flex, but I mean, tent scale, it's not going to pull on that really hard, but that's more than I would like. That's nice. I wonder if that's one of mine. I, I print these, they're available at uh, Rattlesnake RC, all rc1.com. We haven't gotten anywhere. We're gonna start moving just a little bit faster, okay? So, this is uh, Henry's pit. I, hey! This is Houston, Houston, Houston. Hey, Henry, there's the champ. He's the champ. National champion right there. So pay attention. Okay, remember what I was telling you about, uh, again, I think it was Jeff Snell. That, you know, other people I'm sure have done it, but uh, out here, Jeff Snell came up with this full, Lift off style canopy that just exposes everything. And it's beautiful. And uh, Henry's stuff is he's, Henry has. What am I trying to say? When I first met Henry, I thought, yeah, not not gonna make it. He he bought a boat, and it, it was not good. And he wanted me to assemble it, and I'm like, no. Uh, somebody did it for him. And uh, darn if Henry hasn't just set the world on fire ever since. Henry, you're missing a piece on your uh, pit, on your connector. You see that? Yeah. I screwed up. You see that? I was spreading Got them out a... and I did a little bit boo boo. Oh, you're trying to tighten them up and it went beep. Yeah. Okay, here's another one of these data recorders. I've seen that a couple times now. That is a sexy way to go. Here's Henry's little tent scale. Oh, see, this is this is the overkill version. Remember that Savox we were talking about? The awesome servo. Oh, you want servo. to use me today, Scott? Pardon? You want me to do you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much as you're available, I'd love oh, it. I'm always available for nitro. Oh, well, there you go. Done. It's you and, and me. I need you. I got you. Yeah. Morning. 
Okay, that's it. Hi, now I got a boat launcher for the entire day, and Henry is fantastic. How are you? Another one. See, look, look at that. So easy to work on. Here's trying to prejudice the uh, scale judge. <laughs> Says scale. Don't worry, it's all scale. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. There, no, I, I'm, I'm mocking your, your label here that says scale, where you're trying to prejudice, oh. you know, the boat inspector when he sees that, and he's like, oh, okay, it's scale. It says so right Roger there. Roger Payne does that because, you know, <laughs> I have the sport hydros, too. Oh, okay. All right. So that's a Roger Payne motor, then? Yeah. He does all your gas stuff? Okay, last call for okay. registration. Advertisement race, for come on Payne. Down. Cause this always runs great. What what do you say? Registration? And here's your tea. Hey, I gotta go register. There's a long way to go. Not in the whole roster. Here's what I'll show you real quick. Okay, the stroll. I did a bunch of touch up. So if I go back here, I'm gonna go from right here. Doesn't it look great? <laughs> I'll show you the stroll and then I'll go register. Here she is. It just runs great. I mean I took it off the shelf. Touched up everywhere. I did, uh, uh, I totally rebuilt the cowling. I'm not gonna show it to you underneath because it's ugly and it's heavy, but sure looks great on the top. First thing that happened was the guy's head fell off yesterday. I actually had it stuck on there with just a little piece of double-sided tape. And uh, I totally meant to glue it. I forgot. These are mine. I, I, these are available at rattlesnakerc, allrc1.com. I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you this later. Yes, I know, I have a sponsored video today. Crazy, right? But I mean, I've had a lot of people like, like I mean, do you wanna see me do teeth whitening? No, a lot of people have asked me to, to put their products on my videos. I said, no, I won't show you anything I wouldn't use. This is a portable espresso maker. It's killer. I'm gonna show you more about it later. I actually forgot to push the button. I'll be back, it'll be ready. Awesome. Stick around, seriously, wa watch it. I think, I mean, if you're a coffee lover, this thing is cool. I'll show you more later. Okay, I, I think I gotta go register. I have so much more I want you to see. Oh, I love that too. And no, wait, stick around. Okay, I'll show you some races real soon. After I register, racing should start. Every chance I get, I'll shoot the video and I'll plug them in here. So stick with me, don't go away. Be right back. Okay. I just helped the champ Henry Ord run his gas heat, which he won. Now we're in the next gas heat. I'm gonna try to see who's in this. Oh, that's the brand new. Here's the Express, Derek Pierce, Smoking Joe's. Graham Trucking, Jesse Robertson drove the real boat. I can't remember who, uh, oh, Jeff Snell would be on that boat. Speedy printing. I don't know if Bill's driving it or David, but that's a Brant boat. I'm gonna look away from you for a second so I can see. Uh, oh, I take it back. That, that is, uh, that's Mike. Mike's driving that. Mike Malloy. Speedy printing. Man. I think this is Mike's first time racing this gas boat. Let's see how he does it. Good driver. He's been off the stick for a little while with some medical issues. 14 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, finish line? Sure. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow, what a start. Jeff Snell leading it out front. Oh, I missed it. There's an upside down boat here now. Speedy giving chase. We're going to want to be careful back there. He just went outside the dead boat. Mike went way outside, so we're good. Derek Pierce surviving. Boy, Jeff really got that boat coming. I really expected Mike to gain on him and put a challenge on because Jeff had had some difficulty in the past with his boat, but he has that worked out. Okay, everybody made a good clean pass there to laugh the one boat. White flag. 
trucking. One more. This will be two more. So yep, keeping the hammer down. Sometimes that's wise, you know, because the boats, they, let, they go good when they're going fast. As soon as you roll off, all of a sudden the boat doesn't handle it. So, uh, well done. Let's get you a look at the uh, at the Graham when it comes in. We have one more lap to go for Derek on that new boat. Looks like it's dancing pretty high. I'm sure he's going to work on settling it down a little bit. Let's take a look at this beautiful boat here. It's really unique inside. Oh, I'll add the rest of the pit tour here after a bit, and, and we'll take a close look at the Graham. Um, it's just beautiful work by Jeff, as always. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, Fred. Okay, I don't think we've looked at this yet. I'm gonna, hang on a second, I'm gonna figure out how to zoom out a little bit. There we go, let's look at the, this rock. I would say that this is a beautifully maintained boat. Look how fabulous this looks. CMB. This, boy, this is just a thing now. Everybody has realized, okay, short shaft gives you excellent control, less weight, no big deal. Drop it anywhere you want. And it looks great. Finish is nice. Let's look at the detail here. Okay, that, I mean, that just looks excellent. There's just, okay, I got nothing to pick on here. I know you guys are going, what? That's not like you, Scott. Yes, I know. I recognize that driver? No, not the guy, the print. That's one of mine. <laughs> Ligridge paving. Oh, Gary's boat always looks great. I mean, this guy, Grumbowski's pits. It's just the way they are. This is the president. I'm, it, it actually looks like crap. I just say nice things because he's the president. That's not true. Gosh, always looks good. Gary is just so solid. I don't know, he's kind of got that whole V-shaped fin on it. Look at that. We'll have to, if I get some racing video of that, we'll have to watch how this thing cuts the water. Looks great. Oh, this is so cool. Until I get a chance to use it as Can you see, I ho hope you guys can see in the light the detail on that. Um, I think you can. Gosh, isn't that nice? So, uh, you want me to put the cowling on? So, did, uh, uh, Brad, did you count just exactly how many dots are on the deck of this hole? I didn't count. Too many? Is that the. Gosh, that's a cool cowling. Uh, Why don't I remember that? I don't know, but this this next week I'm going up to paint the blue blaster, and this is going to get a, a fresh John Ernest touch up the way he knows The blue blaster. It. The blue blaster? In, in electric. Oh, 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 I thought you meant. The blue blaster needed touch up or no, something. No, not that one. <laughs> I'm building a okay. blue blaster. And I got the cow for Excellent. Good on you, man. And, uh, oh, it's a great looking boat. Yeah. This is another John And here Ernest we have the large version of a John Ernest creation. Haven't seen John in a while, boy. Oh, he's doing great. Is he? Just, good. Just, uh, John's yeah, a good guy. Look how nice that looks. Dude, this is all hand work here. It's all in the middle. Pinhead of a yeah, pinhead. Can you right, imagine RCN Limited Racing Time doing oh, that? The answer is no. I think it's gas or what? Are we up? But oh, I'll tell you what. That's see that's a modeler racer. With me, I, I'm a racer who builds models. That's a model racer. I got to get my shoes Plus, I had a nitro Elan eons ago. What if what if this is my old hull? Where'd this come from? That's Bob. It used to be uh, his uh, guitar. Dave, Dave Bob built. Oh, okay, okay, got, got it. It's not the one I had. It's not, it's not. I had this this Elam in nitro a bazillion years ago. I had it for probably two months. I went through it, restored it, painted it, got it done, and I sold it. It's just... that was, that's out of Bob's camp. Oh, oh! And it's yours? I bought it from the guy that bought it. It's not easy to get a bracket boat. <laughs> well, I know them very well. <laughs> Bob, how are you? This is one of Bob's hulls. I'm impressed. It's been a few miles. Very rarely 
do one of your holes fall in another man's hands? Well, this one actually went to California. And it's back. You thought you were getting you thought you were getting rid of it so you didn't have to race against it, and now it's back. Oh no. Oh no, that's a shame. But I love the story that the boat has returned. Oh yeah. And it and is still competing. So. Yeah, that's it. It's hot me more than you. Look at that setup. I, I know the sun is probably wrecking the view. Oh gosh, I hope you guys can see it. I'm drying out, Brad. I'm drying out. Yeah, this is just beautiful. This is just this is what you expect from one of Bob's boats. I gotta do a little so bit nice. Too. That's okay. Thanks for letting me take a close look there, Fred. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry it broke the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, just, it cracked my lens, but I think the recording is still good. Well, God bless you. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to sneak down here real quick. Okay, you saw this boat. I think I got the video of it. It's the boat. It should say boat here. Maybe they just haven't finished. I don't know. Maybe it actually ran without boat on it. Sure. But very exciting to look at. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get enthusiastic. Uh, Cowling, I, I mean, you know, fine. Hey, good on you, man. Go run it, run your boat. But I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I've told you guys before, I, I love the Lincoln Thrift. I can't believe I've never built one. Uh, John, uh, John Gatchin had the, this version. For a long, long time, I kept trying to get him to sell it to me, and of course he wouldn't. Um, they, they have an attachment to the Lincoln Drift uh, from the big boat, big boat days. And so I didn't blame him. And, uh, but now somebody else owns it, which is all good because I get to see it, and I love it. What the Pico is back? Is this David's old Pico? I think 40. this is David Brandt's old Pico. Got a dead boat front straight off the wall. Oh, I chased this boat 45. for years. If that's it. 30. Something's telling me it might not be, but I might I might be wrong. I, I don't it's been so long. I don't remember. If that's it, this boat has tens of winds. Many tens of winds. If that's it. It's so 12, weird that I can't remember. 11, 10, 9, Just by looking. Eight, but back in the seven, day when I was chasing it, I, I had no clue what I'm doing. On I've only got Three, one clue now. So. Two, oh, wow. Two, this whole, the full carbon fiber version of the, 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 the giant the belly boat. Remember, there is a dead boat on the infield. Hey, look at that. Come around for one down, troop per day. It's got a molded drop-in engine well. Yeah. Okay, have not seen that before. The back I love it. They go. I'm going to do it. Okay, so everybody else There's knew about this but me. Right All right, so you guys already knew about it. I thought it was super exciting when I saw that. Is this exciting? There's the leader. There's second. That is not exciting. Three down for the rock. And uh, I'm this hearing the, the mic come. From, uh, Mike Henderson Finish is gorgeous. The only flaws are Parker fingerprints. In the Not in the paint, just because he's right been handling now. it. A little different here. Okay, the boat's, the the boat's uh, been run hard. It's good. It's all good. One more to go for Charlie's it's nice. Oh, it's kind of a bent Maybe metal. Look at that. Just a simple little bent metal girl. engine mount. I mean, it doesn't uh, take much, right? Is it flex? Come around to the finishing I mean, a little, but it's not going to have, you know, tension on this way, just rotational. Of course, it's not going anywhere doing that. Here we go again, another way to do that. I'm going to make those. I'm going to print some of those. Oh, I hate see a little reinforcement here. It must have had a little transom trouble at some point. So next up is Brad Lewis. Henry Ord. Brad Lewis is back racing with us. Let's see what the secrets are here. Okay, all right see some ginormous battery packs. Hey, Charger. I'm familiar with that now because I, I started racing RC cars for the very first time ever two days ago. Did I tell you that already? I, I don't remember. Uh, you live a lifetime here in, in every heat, so I don't recall. 50 cars showed up. It was insane. 
Such crust. Such crust four. Wow. You gotta go back a ways. You gotta go back a ways. Oh, there's an atlas over there. Let's go see. How you doing, David? Good, are you? I'm doing well. Famous David Newton's here. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I'll be signing autographs from 11 to 12. Well, you should be. Guys, by the way, this is the 50 year, 50 year anniversary of RC Unlimited's that was originated by Roger Newton, David's dad. Incredible legacy. 50 years whenever, uh, we've been throwing our money away. I mean, we've been having fun doing this. The really freaky part is I've been involved with almost half of it, which is just crazy to think about. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? Excuse me? One of my most memorable experiences is putting on dive gear and diving in a literal sewer pit to pick up in Granger. Yeah. You're up when they get in? Okay, I gotta go take care of uh, Champ Henry Ord. Uh, there is somebody picking up a dead boat, so I t just a minute to do it. Finishing that story, I put on my dive gear and I dove in Granger, Washington. Granger, I love you. It's a weird little dinosaur town. They found some bones there. However, there's a giant sewer pit that we used to race in. And Roger, being the guy that originated the club, I'm gonna get to this later, don't worry. Uh, didn't put any flotation in his boat. And he built the very first electric eight scale that we had here way, way back. And he flipped it and it sank. I dove and got it, couldn't see it. I got supremely lucky and the boat caught the belt of my buoyancy device as I was sliding by through the muck. It was the only way I knew it was there. And I picked it up and then I was sick for a month. That's not a lie. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, was it gross. Okay, that one's coming in. The reason I'm going back this way and didn't show you that cool stuff is I gotta go help the champ. You can see he's nervous, he's right there. All right, I'll be back and I'll get you guys more. Hold tight. I don't know if because you're here I'm now afraid or I seem to, I always put on a good show when you're around. So that's Chris Denslow. He shoots all the awesome photos that you see. Maybe I'll put a link to his smug mug. Oh, we're done. I can't, I can't pick it up while I'm talking to you. Hang on, I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Dude, I'm ready. Moving on. What do we do? Do we? Oh, I was going to show you this. Man, do you, you old timers remember that? So cool. Effective? Eh. <laughs> cool? Mm-hmm. What did you say? Move along? Move along? No, come on. This boat is super cool. This cowling, I mean, honestly, no offense, Jim, I'd never build it. I don't want to push that much wind. But is it cool? The cool factor is, is just out of sight. I love it. Roberto? <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you how fast it is. You guys are getting tired of hearing me say how fast these boats are. All these guys. I mean, it used to be you... And no offense to anybody, but it used to be you could get two or three good throwaway heats, you know, where you go out there and you're like, yeah, I got this. You, you know, spank off a few wins. And now every heat feels like a final, and it's insane. <coughs> Here's another one. Is it okay if I pick this up, Mike? Absolutely. Okay, so this is, I don't think I showed you on any of the other guys. I'm trying to do this all one-handed here. I do this all for you. <laughs> See, look at that. I see the flotation is built in. I don't know if you can see that in the video. I can tell that there's uh, foam added to those sides there and then glassed over. And so that in increases the rigidity of it, right? And gives it its flotation. And then of course he added a little bit more. We're gonna make sure, because what you don't want to do is lose your cowling. Because in this boat, you lose half the boat. Yeah. And that's for the nitro boat. <laughs> the nitro, what? That's no, this your, isn't. That's the nitro cow. Oh gosh, this is the nitro cow. I did not realize that. Gas cow's right here. Oh, the gas cowl is right there. Oh, yeah. Well, now that I'm actually looking at the boat instead of just staring through the lens of the camera, which is really hard to do, I see that. I like that. Very nice. So Mike is back with an absolute vengeance. It is good to see Mike back and getting around and feeling like racing. See what appears to be probably a new CMB or very well maintained product. Beautiful setup. 
super sexy radio box available now all rc1 <laughs> rattlesnake rz and i'm just saying it's fabulous i'm thinking about building servo mounts i think i can build a lighter mount uh, that's printed that's ready to go so you're not having a nut and bolt in the whole bit i'm thinking about that hey leave me a comment let me know if you guys would like to see servo mounts and i'll build servo <laughs> mounts what are we looking at here you smoked it you didn't smoke it. I found my number. Oh, I don't. Wait, hold up. I, I want to see. I want to see if I can get that where you guys can see it. <laughs> Gosh, I hope that's focusing. I think it might be looking at other things. This, uh, if you can't see it, I mean, I'll know later when I go to edit this. Um, when you see the the coil okay, inside start to pull out. Okay, uh, you've got so your pipe length perfect and your fuel mix perfect because it's that means here. that We're pipe is sucking start, hard and that jams more fuel in. It's like I don't want to say a supercharger, but it almost behaves like that. It's like a reverse uh, turbocharger, let's say, to where you're literally sucking that fuel in super fast. And it's sucking hard on that on that wire and pulls it out. He's he's nearing the danger zone here, but that's a that's a final setup there for sure. Then your boat comes across the start finish line as soon as you as soon as you let go of the throttle, it dies because your plug burns out. But I set it right on top of that. Uh, there, okay. Okay. Drivers meeting. We got David Brent talks. Four rounds. We listen. Okay. I'll get you the rest of these and I'll get you some racing. Don't go away. Hey, check it out. This is the brand new Risley's Express. Derek Pierce. Just entered the water. Where is it? There it is. Beautiful boat. I guess he didn't want to launch over there. <laughs> okay. It looks like he's just feeling it out. This could very well be his first time ever on the water. Uh, we'll talk to Derek later and we'll take a good look at it. Let's watch something that sounds way faster. Look at that. Watch this. Bam. Goodbye. Oh, that thing is honking. I, I don't know whose boat that is. distance travelers. We got some gentlemen up here from Utah here for the opening. RC Unlimited's first race of the year. And now he's just playing with us. It was doing what? 65? 68? And look at that thing corner. It's a round note. The boat is currently doing the impossible. Good. Nice. Well, let's see how he fares next to the champ. That's Henry Org's boat, I believe. Uh, national champion from a couple years ago. Well, maybe they're all that fast today. <laughs> I think that round note's gaining on him. Where's he at? There he is. See how it looks on the back. Yeah, there goes the champ. Okay, coming out. How far behind is the round? Look, he's right there, baby. He's got her pin, man. Pin. Okay, what we'll do is uh, a little bit later during the pit tour, I'll get you a close-up view of that boat. We got to see how he's pulling that off with the round notes. Yeah. Hey guys, I think I missed this one in the tour earlier. Okay. Look how gorgeous this is. Uh, having a little bit of running difficulty. We're actually going to see if we can help. Not that, not that I know anything, but I'm going to see if I can help Matt. It runs fabulous and then it shuts off. But, but um, that, that just really is a great looking boat. I can't even tell where you're... Cowling starts and ends. Oh, right here. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, I wanted you guys to see that. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at it for you and see if we can help. Right. We'll be right back. 
Okay, hey everybody, pardon the interruption. Now, this is the moment that you've all been dreading, okay? And, and I have too, to be honest with you, but hear me out, stick with me here. This video has been sponsored. It's a sponsored video. I know you hate that people break in in the middle of their videos and they try to sell you uh, uh, blue blocker glasses or something. I will not ever show you anything that I don't think is super cool and that I won't use myself. And I don't know if this is that, but I started to open it and I thought, nope, I'm just, full disclosure, we're gonna take this from the top. And we'll see together if this is the coolest thing ever. A company called OutIn, O-U-T-I-N, contacted me about a thing that they said was gonna change my life. At the race course, right? Okay, so you're racing. I don't know what point I'm gonna cut into this video, right? We're doing a tour, and it's awesome. I'm probably exhausted when I cut this in. Here's the key. I've kicked butt, right? I've won three out of four heats, finished second and one. That gets me down because I'm a perfectionist, as you know. Uh, I don't even know if any of that's true, but this has happened. And then you're getting ready for the final and you start dragging your hiney. Um, I need an answer. I don't like drinking sugary sodas. I already opened this. I kind of let the cat out of the bag on that. I, didn't, I thought it was something else I was waiting for. Okay, this thing from out in. Yes, this is it. Out in Nano. I, and I have a discount code for this. I looked this up when they approached me. I found, actually it's much heavier than I expected. I found, uh, I don't think that's a bad thing. I was afraid it was gonna be a cheap, flimsy thing. Um, I, I looked up other companies that do this and I saw there were others out there. They didn't look as good, at least in the pictures. And this one, Oh, that's okay. This is fairly classy. All right. All right. Have an out in day. You got, uh, I think that means outdoor or indoor. This dude, this is a portable espresso machine. You charge it up and you take it with you at two o'clock, three o'clock, you are trashed and you got to get up for the final you don't want to drink a soda. Gosh, they actually make me sick, all that sugar. I don't like drinking the sugarless stuff. That's not good for you. Portable electric espresso machine user guide. Who reads user guides? And look at that, I can't read it anyway. It's in Italian. Um, I'm sure there's good information there. Uh, uh, how to use, here, that's what I want, how to use. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. This is actually iPhone style, cool quality kind of package. That is pretty sexy. Okay, this is our out in nano. It, uh, how do I, uh, okay. Let's get that sleeve off so we can get a look at what we got here. That, uh, you ever watch Forged in Fire? You know how that one guy says, oh, it feels good in the hand. This feels good in the hand. It's got some weight. Out in, okay, this looks knurled, so it does a thing. All right, that does a thing. I am intimidated, okay, I'm slightly intimidated. I'm probably gonna have to figure out how it, oh, that must be a extra one of those. Oh, different style, okay, we'll, we'll learn. I'll learn how this thing works. And then uh, I'll tell you what, we'll use it at the race course because I am already, Oh, really? Okay, theoretically, you set that little booger down, you push the button, bam, delicious, strong espresso. Uh, what, what I had to do, I did some research on it too because I'm like, okay, do you just put regular coffee in it? It was a little bit tricky for me to figure out, but then I could see in the pictures and on Amazon, where, where I'll send you the link, by the way, along with a discount code uh, that, that I'll tell you about here in a minute because I don't know what it is. <laughs> Um, it talked about using these. They are espresso pods, Nespresso pods. I don't know why they're different colors. I think coffee's coffee, right? So um, I don't know. Oh, cocoa. All right, chocolate version. Hold the phone. Intensely roasted, dude. Okay, this is the one that you use if you have one three out of four heats and you're going into the final and you need to just get a quick blast hold on let me see here caramel okay all right my life has already been changed 
let me get back to this thing. I'm going to figure out how to use it. Okay, I'm going to charge it with the handy included cord. Where's the electrical stuff? Yes, back of right there. Yeah, okay. So th this one's actually an Apple charger thing. So anyway, if you've got one of these laying around or whatever, looks like you're gonna need that. If you don't have one, it can't be more than a couple bucks. This, anyway, that's how that takes care of that. Bonneville, I'm going again this year. You ought to meet me there. Come down to Bonneville this year. I, I, I forget the exact date. Look, look up Speed Weeks. I've already got my rooms. Man, it, serious, if you're gonna do that, uh, uh, contact me, let's do it. I already think this is cool. It is small, it feels great. I'm gonna try it. We'll fire this thing up. Maybe I'll try it beforehand, before I go out there and try to embarrass myself trying to make it work. I will actually read the instructions, or I will at least read this part. It looks like bing bada boom. And I'll tell you how that goes. More later, hang tight. It feels good in the hand. Okay, round 2A of Nitro. We're up here way early. There's like over two minutes left. 210. 210. But I want to see the Eliminator. Oh, on the water is Bill Grant in the that's, Eliminator. This is the Eliminator that's in my build series. If you haven't seen it, maybe check out the other links in my channel. Oh, I've got a playlist where I built this boat. I'm going to move over here so I'm not in anybody's way. Give me a second here. And I sold it to Bill Brandt without the motor uh, pipe set up in it. So they've put a, a Nova Rossi in it. And, uh, and then fought it a little bit um, as they had some trouble with their radio gear. So hopefully it's all worked out. Uh -oh. oh, that's one of Stephen King's boats. That's never happened. Oh no, and the Pico. I gotta go, man. Try to help them. One, two, Okay, I'm back. 20 seconds to the start. I'm out of breath. We got the boat out of the water, but not in time before the start of the race. Boy, those guys are way back. Five, four, three, two. Well, the Eliminator laid off pipe, so the leader is the rock. Side by side, look at that race. Around the corner, nice lanes, gentlemen. Got a look. Beautiful, what a great race. What will happen? Oh, a little squeeze there, rock to rock. Two down for Mike. Oh, that's Speedy to rock. Okay, got it. Okay, Speedy just moved into lane one. He had overlap, no problem. Oh, Rock is back on the inside again. Check this out right there. Oh, but that Speedy is just too fast. Can tell the rock is just not right, getting the RPM. Right, Listen to the difference. Okay. Hear the difference there? Yeah, just not quite as much in that rock. Oh, welcome back, Mike Malloy. Boy, he has just really found the tune with that boat. Let's get a look at it when he comes in here. Feel bad for Bill and that eliminator, just getting no RPM at all. all right, we'll Maybe I should have just sold it to him with that CMB in there. It was running great. Okay. That speedy is truly speedy. Hey, flip that over. Let me look at the speed and secrets. Come take 225 hey, come on. We'll no, the other way. I don't want to see the top. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Oh, well All right. done. Well done, Mike. Well, Thank you, Steve. Yep. Wow. First Congratulations. Mike Malloy, second to Jeffrey Grumbowski. Okay, more later. Okay, where were we? Let me show you the rest of them.
Did we look at this one already? I think maybe we did. I know I did. Oh yeah, we'll, we're gonna look at the prop. Don't you worry about that. Well, that, that's kind of a clean look at little setup. That's kind of cool. Got a got a blower set there. Gonna make sure that it's ice cold before you throw it. Interesting concept. Oh yeah. Well, uh, that's a great looking prop. <laughs> Available now at Rattlesnake RC. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I mean it was making a ton of noise out there it just ran and I was listening to it going that's not gonna finish what he do he finished nice bar doll instead of the whole checkerboard this is just a really pretty in beautiful shape I don't really know the story on the boat this uh, I mean I guess right I mean, hopefully it's not too close to the throat of the carburetor. I don't know what this thing does. Oh, that, I'll bet that's attached to the switch or something. Wow. Okay. Well, that way he doesn't have to pull this cowling off to make the switch. More Renaults. Ah, oh, beautiful Eagle Electric. Colonel Warner Gardner driving. Old style CMV. Somebody just having some fun here. It is cool, though. When I was a kid, I thought that was just so cool. Man, look at them tail feathers. All right, so no pit tour is complete without coming over here. Seeing how's it going? How are you doing, Brecken? How's it going, guys? Good. Okay, it's very intimidating here. All the boats are always perfect. Oh, I'm going to focus in on this right here because that's <laughs> <laughs> that's unusual for a Stephen Kinney boat. So man, everybody's got this going on now. Apparently, just super cool data and the whole bit. Yeah, there's a Great for testing, but on race day you've already got what you got. You're just going to run probably. But it's just very, very clean looking setup. And the paint on this stuff is just awesome. Just going to see. Oh yeah, that's nice. And the fleet of them here, of course. Jerry Ann's driving nitro. You're not nervous, are you? <laughs> you're doing a great job it, it's it's terrifying i've been doing it forever and it's terrifying wow looks great where's uh where's the little one? Oh, there it is over there that's what i want to see check this out yeah you parked that one huh yeah it's not ready it's not ready okay all right all right I understand. They've got a, a real beautiful Renault, that, that's a Renault, whatever you want to say. This uh, Brooklyn, can we uh, could we look? Is that okay? If we lift that up. I just want everybody to be able to. Yeah, this is just for the. Okay. All right. Oh, what a neat idea! You just drape a little tape on there, so you could actually shift it around if you needed to to move the weight around. That's cool. We got a little seal going on here. Man, you guys are thinking of everything. Of course, another beautiful cowling. Very nice, thank you. All right, good luck today. Okay, now I promised you guys we were gonna take another look at this boat here. Jeff Snell's. I don't know what Jeff's doing different, but all of a sudden this thing is amazing. Oh, look at this. Wow, we're holding the air. You get a high pressure area right here. I see what he's doing. I know what's going on here. Doesn't that look great? I miss this guy. Jesse's a cool dude. Natural driver. He's fast in everything he does. Huge. That's that's like a got a barn door on here. Oh, curved front. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I just cut on the one side. Man, it's fun to see this thing on the water. <laughs> oh yeah, well, Mitch, Mitch at Quick Draw told me that that his motors would break them. Yep, yep. They they just they just bang a little bit hard. 
Really? Yeah, and it seems, well, you see it going. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah, no. Cable, so okay, drop, dropping in pitch, what, and going up in diameter, or up in diameter, less pitch? Isn't that interesting? Been what? Oh, right, I know, I saw that, I saw that. The boat would torque up on the prop all the time. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna just look and see if I can kind of see it. Maybe we can't. I mean, is it okay? Can we can we look at it? Oh, that's awesome. All right, guys, let's check this out. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't really tell you what prop it is. Pitch. I mean, you can kind of judge it. it. It's basically where each blade. I mean, like, it, it, say you welded the blade onto a hub, right? Okay, so you rotate it, and, and what he's less pitch means it's kind of rotated where it's on the hub. So as you can imagine, it's not really, each blade isn't necessarily holding as much water, but so to compensate, you make it slightly larger diameter, and then the part that's actually in the water when you're up at speed is still doing its job. So it, it's a really interesting way to go. Well, and I like it a lot. Too. Uh -oh. oh, no, I, no, it, right, right, right. No, I, I agree. Oh, a 70, 16? Yeah. Yep, that, that makes sense. Chinese, Chinese. Okay, there you go, guys. 70, 16. It definitely looks like 16. Clean it up, make sure it's good. Okay. I'm very impressed with using Chinese Right, right. You just never know what you're going to get. But this. Have you seen the propeller? Okay. Not yep. And, and you're you're measuring out, transom out, checking the tips, checking each one, make sure I they're actually, not folding over. I got a little prop gauge. You got a gauge. Oh, okay. Well, of course you do. <laughs> I I got a ruler and uh, and yeah. <laughs> well, that's great, Jeff. It's super fun seeing that thing run now. Looks awesome. Okay. You're not gonna believe it. We hit the end of the pit tour. Guys, thanks for hanging in there. Don't forget, there's a link uh, for that Audi and uh, portable espresso maker. I know, right? Advertising, but serious. I, I honestly, I, I love the thing. It's just fabulous. I got here early. You know, I only had time for one cup of coffee at home. Drove out here, banged out a beautiful cup. It was a wonderful thing. So the link's down there in the description. Yeah, if you're interested, click it, check it out, and, and make sure you use my promo code, because that way it's cheaper. Who doesn't like cheaper? All right. Thanks. Okay. I'll get you yeah. some more racing. I'll tell you what. Oh, don't go. Away. A, I'll show you some more racing. Okay, How about that? Cowling in the back stretch. Right. It's way out wide. This more is soon. The finish. Sorry, I'm putting my glasses on. Can't see a thing. First round of gas. First heat. Folks, get ready for this. We have over 60 boats here today. Minute 20 before the start. Everybody running a short course right now. Everybody but Derek. And Jim White. And somebody else. Okay, I take back everything I just said. I'm going to try to zoom in. It's hard to follow, but I'm going to try. Thirty seconds. You're going to see the fight now as they struggle to steal lane one. Twenty seconds. Oh, that is not a legal move. He let the boat go. I don't hear a penalty. Okay, he did get penalized. You cannot encroach. Atlas has a one lap penalty, rightfully so. The Atlas is leading, but he's a lap down. I see the speedy printing. Followed by a boat that just called the boat. Oh, dead boat there. Don't hit it, don't hit it. Good. We're leaders right here. OK, 
Okay, he's just pedaling now. Oh, I didn't see Mike's boat go dead. I wonder if he was trying to avoid the dead boat there. So all the excitement is gone from this race. The Atlas uh, way out front, uh, but only because the speedy, as you can tell by the rooster tail, has pedaled off really hard. The reason the Atlas is running hard, there you go. He needed to lap that boat to get his lap back, and he's now running in second with no chance to catch the speedy. But he's gonna try, I mean, that's what you do. Derek's boat has gone dead. Atlas has now pedaled off. He, he knows his fate. Remember when I told you Jim White will run hard? Okay, that's Jimmy there who just learned that you cannot encroach when entering the race course. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we know Jim. <laughs> Jimmy's a great guy. I love him. Okay, let me show you the winner. I think then I gotta go, uh, pardon me. I think then I have to go uh, help Henry Ord and his, he's in uh, B or C. Where the jacket go for that boat? It's up, it's up here. There's your the winning boat on, that just wisely let the Atlas go and pedaled around. So I'll get you more exciting races later. Okay, stick around. Okay. Watch the nitro heat. Oh, the eliminator's in it. Maybe they finally worked the bugs out of that. They've been struggling. The new owners have been struggling to get it running. Fifty-five seconds to the start. I don't know if you can really tell on the water. There's kind of a mean wind blowing straight at us uh, from the back stretch in which is a really unusual condition here. It normally blows up the back stretch, so this is kind of weird. Looks like we have an Alberto, of course the Eliminator, Lake Ridge Paving, and a Pay and Pack. That pack is fast, by the way. Well, seconds to the start. Nine, eight, seven, Eliminator might six, have secured lane four, two. Four, three, two, one. Good start. Leader is your Berto, followed by the Eliminator. Eliminator closing there, but he's forced to run the outside. Oh, he ran a tight turn and took the inside. Has to hop back out. That's Mr. Bill Brandt on that Eliminator, the owner of Rattlesnake RC. So I knew once they worked the bugs out, that thing would be fast. But look who's on his heels, that pay and pack I was telling you about. He's coming hard. Bill's running wide trying to avoid the wake of that Alberto, but that's given the pack a chance to get in there. Meanwhile, the Alberto, look at that, just a commanding lead. You can see of everybody hopping on the back stretch in their weird rollers. White flag. I'm going to stay with that Eliminator just because I love the boat, obviously. It's got kind of a new response and design of mine that appears to be working really well, but that pack is closing now, and Bill has gone wide. He surrendered the inside lane. It's a boat race. Whoa. The pack took him, and I almost got uh, run over. <laughs> I, uh, I have to apologize right now in case I didn't catch that in the video because I was looking over the top of the phone because I was excited. I hope I caught it. The pack did, in fact, catch the eliminator. Bill swung real wide going into the right turn and uh, surrendered the lane. Uh, but you know what? Boat's not broke. It's all good. And what great looking race boats. All right, we have no dead boat getting ready. All right, we'll give time let's do it again. Yeah. Oh, I just thought, what the heck, let's go for it. Um, I got out a caramel pod, press it firmly into the capsule holder, right? Yeah. 
it is not too small. How firmly do I press it? Okay, I have pressed it firmly into the capsule holder. Oh, I guess maybe that's going to poke holes in. Okay, I put it in there. Uh, put the holder into the port of filter properly. Uh, that's good advice. Screw it onto the coffee maker. Pour water into the tank. Top. 50, 70, and max. Okay, so you can kind of pick and choose the strength. We'll go for 50. I mean, come on. Press the button for two seconds. Automatically heating the strength. Please. Okay, it didn't tell me to put the bottom on, obviously. You got to put the bottom. Oh, dude, I pushed the button. That was an accident. Okay, the light went out. Oh, that must just be like a battery check. Yeah, okay. I have full battery. That's what that's telling me. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, that's 50. Oh, right on the line. Oh, and I just splashed more in. I ruined it. Okay, so I put that on. Put the lid on. How about a stable surface? One thing we know for sure, the stro is not stable. Okay, two seconds. Let go when you hear the beep. Two seconds. Count down with me now. 1,001, 1,000. Oh, let go when you hear the beep. It's doing its thing. Okay, something is happening. It was only a couple minutes I was starting to get out this. I, I got a new charger. Got a new charger to start. I got to solder some leads and stuff. By the way, uh, watch out for this. I, I may start a new channel coming soon. Uh, free teaser. Sit tight on that. It, oh, is it done? I think it's done. Okay, yeah, I'm going to say fit. Oh, I can see. Ooh, look at the head on that. <laughs> oh, she's steaming. Oh, stop. Oh, very light caramel. <sighs> oh, Ringo, here, smell this. I know, right, Piggy? I know, I know you'd drink it. Okay, that's it. That's it. All right. Out in. I'm gonna put the uh, the the. I'll, I'll put a link, and then as well as my code, uh, you'll get a discount. I think you get 10% off the thing. Uh, worth doing, man. At least go check it out. Come on. But I, I mean. Dude, look at it. I'm already shaking. <laughs> uh, uh, STP used to call themselves the Racer's Edge. This is it. The Out In Nano. You get them in different colors. I, I, I got uh, Week of the Cool, uh, Slate and Gray. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, cheers. Good luck at your next race. Let me know how it goes. Leave a comment. Hey, tell me if you get one, if you like it. Uh. Oh my gosh. Can't wait for tomorrow. Seven, two, six. Oh, we're jumping into this one kind of quick. Gas scale. I have no idea who's running. Eleven. I'm going to try to look around the phone to see. Uh, Mark and Pat. Uh, Charlie's girl. Speedy. Two Charlie's girls? Okay, maybe they're in two different years. Oh, look at that. Huh. Oh, he went way wide. Still has the lead. Now he tightened it up with Charlie's Girl and Charlie's Girl following. As you can see, we rolled one of them. You're asking, where's the fourth boat? It's upside down in the right turn. The race is now no longer interesting. Uh, right there is an upside down boat. I don't know, maybe I caught that. Maybe you guys already saw it. But this race, quite obviously, is over.